Sean Diddy Combs is facing what feels like a never-ending wave of sexual assault and human trafficking allegations. These allegations have drawn in other major celebrities who are now also implicated or have weighed in. Two of Combs' homes were raided by U.S. Homeland Security as part of a federal investigation. Federal officials conducted searches at residences belonging to Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. This comes after lawsuits were filed against Combs over multiple allegations of rape and sexual assault. The investigation, which is being led by prosecutors in the Southern District of New York, is in relation to sex trafficking allegations. Combs has denied all accusations, but lawyers representing his accusers have welcomed the raids as a step towards accountability. Meanwhile, Combs' attorney, Aaron Dyer, has criticized the recent searches as a witch hunt against Diddy. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated, said Dyer. Combs, who has also faced sexual assault allegations in civil lawsuits, denies any wrongdoing. The music mogul, who was not detained during the searches, has yet to speak about the investigation. However, rapper 50 Cent has taken to social media to react to the searches. The rapper shared an image of the raid on Instagram, saying, it just got real. He expressed shock at the involvement of Diddy's sons, King and Justin Combs, who were seen in handcuffs during the raid. 50 Cent has been vocal in his criticism of Diddy since the emergence of these lawsuits. The musician teased Diddy during a recent concert in Phoenix and even offered to buy Revolt, the television network Diddy co-founded. The search also brought to light an old interview in which Usher shares his experience living with Combs when he was 13. Diddy is credited with discovering and creatively nurturing artists such as Usher, who rose to fame in the mid-90s. The pair met when Usher signed a record deal with L.A. Reid, who reportedly sent him to live with Diddy for a year. In a 2004 interview with Rolling Stone, Usher shared that he was introduced to unusual sexual experimentation. It is so hot in the industry, man. There was always girls around. You'd open a door and see somebody doing it, or several people in a room. You never knew what was going to happen, Usher told the outlet at the time. In 2016, while promoting his film, Hands of Stone, Usher also described Diddy's homes as pretty wild and saw curious things. Meanwhile, actor Cuba Gooding Jr. has recently been named as a co-defendant in a lawsuit against Combs. The lawsuit, filed by producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones, alleges sexual assault and harassment by Combs and now includes Gooding as a defendant. Jones, who produced songs for Combs' record The Love Album, claims he endured harassment, drugging, and threats from Combs and others. Gooding has been accused of unwanted advances and inappropriate touching during an encounter on Combs' yacht in 2023. The $30 million lawsuit implicates multiple individuals, including Combs' son and executives from UMG and Motown Records. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies," said Combs' lawyer Sean Hawley in a statement. Gooding settled a separate sexual assault case last year, pleading guilty to forcible touching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the channel icon. For more entertainment content, check out some of our other videos.